Hello everyone and welcome back. And today we are going to be looking at the recently announced Planet Zoo Oceana pack. Now, yesterday Planet Zoo gave it a live stream to where they made non-alcoholic drinks that were inspired by each of the animals that we have today. One of them we all have mixed feelings about. But we'll get to that species in just a few minutes, I believe. Uh, but going on to the Oceanic pack, this pack is very promising. I'm trying to keep it on this one. Um, so far, this is pretty much where I'm just going to find the news. I've already went to the official one, and they don't have a whole bunch of news, and they just bring you here to steam so and we're going to take a look at the north island brown kiwi the north island brown kiwi or just the kiwi is such an amazing animal to have in the game and i'm just glad that we have another bird in the game because birds are something that planet zoo is lacking with this it holds promise to two bird species which it could have had three but we'll talk about that in just a moment. Now, the kiwi is like one of the most recognizable birds if you go to New Zealand. Um, a substitute type of New Zealand bird that would have worked for me, I can't remember their names, but they're those flightless uh, parrots. What were they? Uh, kawas or... I, oh gosh, I don't remember the name. I think it would have been a good substitute for them, but I'm just glad that the kiwi is in the game and that we have another bird. All right, moving on, we have the scenery. Now, I'm going to be honest, I did a recording of this earlier. It did not want to use my mic, though. It wanted to use the built-in so nothing but from what i know is that this right here is the island wildlife park scenario and within this we also see some uh faux lava rocks and glow in the dark lava like i said i did this earlier so i i, I know what i'm i know what i'm saying uh not only that but we also have some polynesian inspired buildings and decorations we'll get to that in a moment there's another picture where it shows more about it so we'll get to there in just a moment it's i just really do like how this looks next up is the tasmanian devil an animal that from what i've heard was very high on the meta wish list like it's so photorealistic i really love the baby too the baby's so cute uh i like the redness of the ears and uh, I've never seen the redness of the tail, but I believe they have that. Uh, and if none of you know, in 2020, they reintroduced Tasmanian devils to Australia to help with conservation efforts and to uh, stop the spread of diseases, even though they got one too, to where it's the Tasmanian face tumor. They're suffering from that. And is and it's pretty much one of the main reasons why they're labeled as an endangered species. Uh, and even though it's not their fault, they're also another reason for our next species, which we don't really have a picture of. So I'll go ahead and put the video up. The little blue penguin, or the fairy penguin, was being hunted down by these Tasmanian devils, which also helped endanger them but that was mainly due to us because we put the tasmanian devils there at least to my knowledge to compete with the invasive species like foxes and it also turned to backfire because they kept eating the eggs chicks and even the adults tasmanian devils will eat everything and no i i don't mean anything i mean everything at least that's on the carcass they'll obviously eat meat bones, skin, and hair. They're pretty much a smaller marsupial hyena. 
with a little bit more of a bad temper. I really do like how <laughs> this Tasmanian devil looks. I, I think he's picking his teeth. I don't know. They look so good, and I'm just, ah, oh, I'm just glad they're in the game. Uh, and here's the other picture I was talking about. Here we have a few decorations and buildings that are inspired by Polynesian uh, culture, or at least architect. Um, the boats, the boats, sails, and the, I don't want to say boats, uh, canoes. Uh, so we have the canoes with their sails. I really do like how they look. Uh, we also have the tiki's which you can customize whatever. You can have them be like this. You could change, I believe you can change their color. Uh, you could also have them be a lighting decoration and you could pretty much just have them as like a planner or just anything to your heart's content. Heck, maybe you can even build a fence of tiki's. Uh, we also have a tiki up here. Uh, there's different expressions of the tiki's. Uh, we also have the wood and birch fibers for the buildings. Uh, we also have our four statues here. We have the penguin right there. I believe this one's the Tazzy Devil. That one's the Quokka. The Quokka is a new species that we also have, which uh, I think might be a different species of wallaby. I'm not too sure. I don't really know them all that much, but now that they're coming into the game, maybe, maybe I'll know. And the Kiwi. Now going back to the Tazzy Devils because I wanted to bring a substitution. I think an another substitution, which was highly unlikely between the two of them, who's going to be in it. But another good adaptation, not adaptation, substitution for them would, would have probably been the Quoll. The Quoll would have been a good one too, since... Uh, the Quoll and the Tazzy Devil are both related to each other, but it would have been a good substitute. Plus, I've seen other speculation videos to where they have given the Quoll that substitution as well. For the Blue Penguin, though, I don't really have much of a substitution, unless it being the same flightless parrot. Like, if we got the Kiwi and then we got the flightless parrot, I think that may have been another good substitution. But I guess... An but for penguin wise, I'm gonna say it would have been the rock hopper that would have been a good substitution if it was just on the penguin and not just bird in general. But yeah, uh, for the quokka, I would say in in my opinion, the Goodfellows tree kangaroo. That, in my opinion, I think that would have been a good substitution for the quokka. But I'm still glad that the quokka is coming into the game, and I'll have to do more research on them. Those are my four substitutions for these animals, and I really do like how the flora and architecture really looks. So we have more than 200 plus bold scenery pieces. Uh, we have like the Focus Natural building materials. We have dried leaves, wood, fibers, and weaves alongside the heavy carved wooden decorations and colorful flower ornaments. And... Uh, add more playful touch to the landscape with tiki carved decorations which like I said have various expressions and also customizable these happy this happy face could wear a crown of foliage a vibrant lay or serve as a torch to light up your zoo during the evening alongside these fun pieces discover impressive glow-in-the-dark fox lava and new flora most notably the unique Nikau I think that's how you pronounce it uh, palm and the king fern which will look which will tower over your guests all these stunning additions will help you build the most idyllic zoo for your animals and guests to enjoy and like i said the exciting paint the campaign scenario with that picture will mainly just be around uh bernie and his daughter but mainly about like letting bernie letting Bernie's daughter taking the reins and like we just help her build her zoo for the very first time. Oh yes, I totally forgot about one interesting little detail. We forgot to talk about the mixed feeling species, which is the spectacled flying fox. 
The Spectacle Flying Fox does look good, and I will say that there is a few good things. It's another bat species, and it's another flying animal. However, I will say that this pack was a great opportunity to bring in a flying bird into the exhibit, and that didn't happen, to which most of us actually really thought it was going to be the rainbow lorikeet. The spectacle flying fox seems like it would be the substitution for the rainbow lorikeet, at least in Planet Zoo's eyes. In my eyes, it would have been the rainbow lorikeet, that would have been the animal that would have been in this, and then the substitution would have been either of two of these animals, the one of the species of cockatoos or the budgie slash parakeet. But we got the flying fox, and like I said, for one of the good things, we have another flying animal. And with that, the more that they keep working on flying animals, maybe hopefully by an anniversary update or by the end of this year, we will actually get maybe one or two flying birds. And as for the anniversary update, I do have some speculation on that with three species, but ah, uh, what the heck, might as well. Uh, for the anniversary update, I suspect that it will either be the secretary bird, the American black bear, or the honey badger. Honey badger is more of my own opinion. I could see maybe two of those first ones, though, being an anniversary update. Probably more so of the secretary bird than the American black bear, but, I mean, these choices are of my own opinion. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys soon.